this is an addendum to my last video. Um, uh, I'd like to thank Mindfreak and for uh, JRB. I've forgotten your username again, uh, but both of you, I'd like to thank both of you for having uh, given such good comments. Um, I'd like to amend a couple of things which I didn't think were appropriately covered in my last video. Um, one of which is I wanted to be perfectly clear that um, when I said quite the opposite, that I'm saying I'm not trying to say all this stuff in support of parapsychology, what I'm trying to point out is the fact that these coincidences are, um, are highly of interest, and I don't think we should disregard them altogether. I think we should be trying to research causes. I also said in some of my previous videos uh, that I have had statistically significant results when researching for my own, uh, well, submitting myself to ESP tests that were fairly well controlled, and also that um, I thought that certain capabilities, including precognition, uh, clairvoyance, telepathy, and micropsychokinesis, uh, are more likely than not, but that further research was needed. Um, I will also say that I still stand by that. Um, I am a skeptic overall, but I do, but I am open-minded, and I would like to, and I would say that given the current scientific data out there, especially in relation to the experimenter bias, I would say that there is a very high indicative level that there might be something in terms of psychic phenomena. However, I do think that we need to further research the issue until, um, uh, you know, to be able to decide one way or the other for certain. Um, again, uh, see my videos on experimenter bias. So I just want to be clear on that, okay? That having been said, uh, again, I still have a skeptic and I still treat each case uh, case by case as if it weren't real and then just, you know, try to double check it. Again, it's, it's my way of not being gullibly taken in. Um, now, the other thing I'd like to talk about is that metaphor aspect. Um, I've given um, previous examples and I've even given possible ideas in some of my previous videos about a possible testable means for God. A hypothesis, if you will, that we live in a computer simulation. And uh, uh, anyway, you can go watch my videos on uh, on creation versus evolution about about how um, Genesis one um, could be construed as a case for evolution in Christian scripture. Now, that being aside, I'd like to talk about another aspect. The um, I've been I know I've been uh, preaching about cosmocracy uh, for the past little bit. Um, I'd like to talk about a um, a more problematic issue I find. Um, of course, as you're probably well aware, um, large chunks of fundamentalist Christians uh, keep talking about the whole issue of the end of days. Uh, we're living in the end of days. The government's going to become a totalitarian. The Antichrist is going to show up. The world's going to end. Well, um, there actually was an article. I don't have the source with me right now, but um, a couple, uh, a couple of months ago, or maybe been, maybe been a year ago, uh, McLean's magazine put out a um, an article which said God poisons everything, and they were talking about the idea that fundamentalists are trying to actively bring about the end of the world um, uh, uh, because of their fundamentalism. The thing is, um, once again, I'd like to um, make that analogy that maybe the fundamentalists are right, but not in the way they think. Um, I mean, I know there's been a lot of talk about the book of Revelation, you know, and stuff compared to nuclear bombs and all that sort of thing. But I'd like, to, I'd like you to think about this. Just think about this point, okay? And maybe that this is something that uh, I've, put, I've put videos up before about the possibility that we are driving ourselves to extinction through lack of critical thinking. Well, what about short-sightedness as well? The bulk of politicians, at least the ones that I've, I've heard of, uh, you know, that I've heard speak and stuff like that, even the areas where I've heard about new space programs, Bush has talked about uh, has talked about uh, going and calling on and going and visiting the moon and Mars. However, uh, about a year ago, as it happens, reported that Bush put a policy statement out on the U.S. government website for the next 150 years, which said that they didn't want any other country interfering with the U.S. Uh, endeavors in space, and they effectively wanted every other country to ask permission of them. China's been developing new anti-satellite technology against U.S., and rumor has it that certain countries, including uh, the USSR and stuff like that, have been researching uh, seriously the use of the Thor project, which was basically satellites which would drop crowbar-sized um, pieces of metal down from orbit and could effectively destroy industry. Now, the thing is, my concern is that if people are trying to colonize the space or what have you, but only as individual countries and not realizing that humanity collectively needs to do this, or what about the fact that the... Um, that that Congress has been uh, no, notorious in underfunding the space program. The fact the current space shuttle was a cheaper version uh, up front, but you know, um, and the reason that the Congress uh, supported it was because they were worried about getting kicked out of election next uh, the term after, and that was back in the 1970s. 
And look what happened from that, uh, Space Shuttle's uh, Challenger Columbia disasters. But I digress. I think my point being is the fact that people don't, in general, understand the actual necessity of, you know, uh, they don't understand the science relevant to the fact that we are running out of metals, fossil fuels, uh, the need for uh, putting solar panels in geostationary orbit and colonizing the asteroid belt. And the thing is that um, I've been taking a serious look at, um, at some of these issues, and the space movement is actually fairly small overall. The bulk of people don't understand the science and critical thinking. And what concerns me is that maybe the fundamentalists were right, but in the way they didn't realize. Maybe, and now, don't get me started. Now, that's a side note about the whole thing about the Twin Towers. I mean, there, I think there is some evidence to suggest. Note that, not that I said uh, conclusive, but to suggest that, um, that the Bush family maybe was irresponsible in the way they handled uh, flying the Bin Ladens out after the 9-11. Um, the fact as well that there, that French intelligence did pick up a CIA operative visiting Osama bin Laden in Dubai. Um, again, I don't think it's a government conspiracy, but it is possible that certain groups in Halliburton did want to maintain control. I mean, it's been known for decades that um, the governments used manipulation tactics of one sort or another in terms of advertising and propaganda. So it is possible that a totalitarian state is showing up. But that's a side note. I think my bottom line is, is that we may be actually headed towards something of an apocalypse if we don't start working on space colonization and if we don't start trying to educate the public again in critical thinking and science. It would be a apocalypse of sort, uh, well actually yeah it would be because 90% of humanity would end up getting killed off due to lack of resources eventually, but we are the ones who are bringing it on ourselves. And that's the point. We are, you know, we've brought it on ourselves purely through sheer uh, misintention, but maybe that we should be listening indirectly to some of these um, other sources, like, you know, the fundamentalist Christians, and trying to uh, find the grains of truth amongst all the crap. Like what I said um, in a dialogue at one point about acupuncture. Try to find the actual evidence of pain relief under peer review, um, you know, and kick out all the diseases that it's claimed to treat for, but have no empirical evidence for like Michael Shermer did on his video on acupuncture. Um, if you take a, take a look at that, there is some empirical evidence for the pain relief, but not for the other stuff. Um, but it's the same thing here. Um, you know, go through the psychic phenomena, go through all this sort of stuff, look for what's real, um, look for what bears further research, um, like this experimenter psi effect, or more specifically, experimenter bias, um, and, check, and chuck the rest. Richard Matheson, in his book, I Am Legend, um, the original film, uh, book on which the current film is based, made it quite clear that it was a good idea to start seriously researching, well, in, in their particular case, the vampires. And it turned out that a lot of the original superstitious stories were true, but not for the reasons that they were suggested. Try to find a scientific context to stuff like that. Just because it's something does not necessarily agree with materialistic standards does not necessarily mean it's all wrong. What needs to be done is to evaluate a lot of these old standards and find out if there was any truth to them and then incorporate that into the current system. And then as well, try to think long-term about the future in the hopes of uh, you know, not getting narrow-mindedly stuck on a particular position. Remember, science is constantly an ever-evolving field. We constantly scrap old theories in favor of new ones if those theories turn out to be bad, or we amend those theories if it turns out that something uh, new data has come in and that we need to amend the theory in order to incorporate for that data. So that's what I'm saying. Further research is needed. As always, further research is needed. And remember, this is just my point. I still believe that psychic phenomena are more likely than not, but I still believe that uh, with that, I'm still um, being, uh, I'm just only open-minded. I'm still kind of slightly skeptical, and I still think that further research is needed. Um, for now, I'm going to entertain the idea that maybe I have psychic phenomena, if only to give myself an extra edge in, or, or, or micropsychokinesis, and only to, uh, you know, help me take greater responsibility and making me um, a little bit more confident that I have a little bit more uh, uh, influence in my own everyday life. But that being aside, um, you know, or, or stuff like that, I might try to use it every so often. Maybe it's a hypercalculation, maybe it's real ESP, I don't know. I'll still use it uh, until other proof comes in otherwise, just if only to try to help me get through my day-to-day -day life. But that being said, I'm still skeptical in general, and I still think further research is needed. And I also still think that we still need to research some of these older ideas, find out if there is any truth to them, and then incorporate that which is true, and get rid of all the mystical crap that's surrounding it, and I also think that we need to think long term in the future, if only to uh, promote space colonization, promote critical thinking, and prevent ourselves from regressing back to a medieval society um, when the fossil fuels and the, and more specifically, when the metals run out and technologic, technological society collapses from it. So, those are my thoughts. Please watch the rest of my videos. I hope you enjoyed. Good night.